Hello there, and many thanks for keeping it Y254 in the morning. I am here to talk about the Big Four agenda as the state of the nation. So much noise has been made and so ambitious agendas were put on the table. And we want to see where we are. Three months down the line, we are in March already, the first quarter of the year. And the Big Four agenda seems to have been forgotten. We are speaking about the universal health coverage, food security already. We have a locust invasion. We have uh, so much, uh, so many reports to be implemented, including the maize one and the sugar in the western region. Keep it Y254 and send in your comments to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. My handle is at Murani Hillary. This morning I'm joined by a political analyst, Matthew Kari. Carriera, uh, he was is a, a very famous face to you people. You know, I remember he was in the presidential uh, bid in 2017 and also a sub chariot political analyst. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. It's a pleasure to have you here. Now, uh, let's jump right into eight, the Big Four agenda. Uh, just like I have mentioned, a lot has been said and a lot has been done in regards to the Big Four agenda. When it was uh, fronted before, uh, People said, and critics believed it's an ambitious dream. It can't be fulfilled. And uh, three years down the line, there is a disruption because of other things the government wants to do, but also we have the Big Four agenda. Remember when we talk about the universal health coverage, we had the Cuban doctors come to our country. Uh, who knows what happens to them? Uh, we had the pilot of the universal health coverage to Isiolo, Machakos, and Kisumu, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Where is the report? Do we know what's happening? Still on matters health, we have uh, the coronavirus that is being uh, said could be there. Yeah, we we had uh, a, scare. a scare on Friday, yeah. and uh, it has been watered down. So who knows the truth? We will never know. We are talking about the food security. We have the locust invasion. Yeah. So uh, without further ado, was it a miss or it's a hit, Carriera? The big four is a miss, definitely, because you evaluate the results on the ground and they do not compare to anything that had been promised. But this is not new. This government has been a spectacular failure from the very beginning. When they came to us back in 2013, gave us their manifesto, you remember how beautiful, how colorful, how enticing it was. Mm -hmm. Kenyans bought it, believing that even if they delivered just a tiny fraction of it, mm -hmm. we would do so much better as a nation. But they did not. So during the second term, even after launching a new manifesto, mm -hmm. they condensed that into the big four. Mm -hmm. And given the dry runs they have done, like you just mentioned about the piloting they did on the UHC. Mm -hmm. Well, according to the results they got, they decided to roll it nationally. Mm -hmm. That's across all the counties. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, even the pilot scheme was not successful. So you'd ask yourself, why would you go on and mm -hmm. roll out the whole thing when the pilot itself did not work? Okay. Even just the registrations themselves, having people subscribe to the UHC, mm -hmm. that did not succeed as had been envisioned. Now, we have witnessed government machinery being hijacked for private, personal mm -hmm. battles. And that's what has always sold this nation short. Mm -hmm. Right now, there is a new baby that's been pushed to the people when they should be focusing on delivering on the big four. Okay. Last week, if I will take you back, we had this incident in Mandera. Yeah. We have a defense force like no other in the region. And yet, mm -hmm. our neighbors in the north felt confident enough to encroach into our territory. Now, that speaks of incompetence. So if we are not even able to protect our people, how then can we deliver in housing, <laughs> matters health, 
the locusts have been here now I don't know for mm. how long mm. actually Checks. people have even invented new ways of playing games with the locusts. They're even making necklaces with them because mm -hmm. the government has failed to act on this menace that's going to threaten our food security. Mm. So to me, I don't think I need to belabor the point that the big four is a big miss. All right. How about you, Cheriot? Was it a hit or a miss? The big four agenda. Um, I want to agree with my uh, good friend here, Carriera. Uh, what he said, like uh, almost everything, is a miss. Mm -hmm. um, this government at the beginning, as we know, our, our government of Kenya always uh, have good things. They draft good things, uh, like, like uh, it's a, as good as a, as a bride. Then all of a sudden, they, they look it, it it went as a miss because they don't they don't implement it. Mm -hmm. The issue is is implementation. Every time they talk of a new thing, like in the new baby my girlfriend has touched on, it's it's so good. I mean it's enticing. But agreeing on it, it will never happen. The big four agenda uh, at first it was like uh, okay, um, Uhuru Kenyatta was going to leave a legacy. Um, on a uh, good Kenya uh, on the side of health. But now when you look at the health, if it was not for devolution, we thank God because of devolution, they devolved some health, uh, health issues and now it's working in counties. If you think of, if it was a national thing, mm -hmm. then health it will be in a miserable place now because the government, uh, the top machineries, uh, like, like the ministers, are being used in politics. They are losing, uh, uh, like, like, like they are losing focus. If you see the minister of uh, Interior Security, mm -hmm. some some is playing uh, major, uh, major, major of his work in politics, and like sitting in office and implementing things. What he say, said about the Mandela thing, uh, we were even. Uh, like the people are shocked and they were running out of Mandera looking for for for, for safety. Uh, we were even, uh, the, the U.S. were all, almost declaring like Kenya is uh, under uh, like uh, armed conflict with with the 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 the, 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 it's a Somalia yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it's in a mess. Uh, we when you look at the the issue of locust, the issue of Corona. Uh, we are spending a lot in some things other than like we, you, you find like the government is uh, very sharp in spending on on the, the huduma number thing they spend a lot of money around 15 billion uh, the same case in bbi uh, the bbi thing they have spent a lot and it will not come to help a common manager mm -hmm. now the real thing is uh, it's like they, they are playing games up there and it's not helping as in reality right. so we should, we should they should just come on draw a real thing which will help us the big four agenda it was as good as uh, the the vision 2030 but we are we, we are almost reaching there and we're not seeing even like uh promising things which they they have done mm -hmm. to, to 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 reach their target in 2030 mm -hmm. so um for me they know miss Mm. All right, a career is saying, uh, uh, because now both of you now agree it's a miss, who, ne who then can we fault? We have the cabinet secretaries, we have the members of parliament to come up with bills and uh, creating laws that will enable the big four agenda being driven to the right point. We have the citizenry. Who do we fault for the lack of delivery? The buck stops with the president. Mm -hmm. The cabinet secretaries that you just mentioned, they are appointed by the president. Right. And then that chain goes that way all the way down. You go to Parliament, the Jubilee Party, of which the President is the leader, <laughs> has the majority. So if it was about regulation, legislation, they would have it if their desire was to serve. So the buck clearly stops with the President. That's the person we need to blame. And we need to do better than just blame. Mm -hmm. We need to fire him for failing this nation. Mm -hmm. Now, it's the big four we've spoken about. Over the weekend, or the past couple of days, we've seen the deputy president, that's the other half of the presidency, mm -hmm. come out in public and protest that his own security 
is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. When a government is not able to guarantee the security mm -hmm. of such a top official, how safe then mm -hmm. is you and me who are on the ground, in the hood, in the villages? Mm -hmm. You see, the failure by this government, like I started by saying, has been catastrophic. Mm -hmm. The president should have acted. Unfortunately, he's running out of time. We pray to God that this COVID-19 threat does not come to compound the problems you're already facing. Otherwise, mm -hmm. things will be very dire. We are talking about development projects, health, infrastructure, housing, mm -hmm. creating jobs through manufacturing. All that has failed. But it's going to get even worse if information gets out there that this government is even struggling to pay employees, mm -hmm. government offices and not being paid on time as should be the case so they can deliver services to the people. You just mentioned of uh, infrastructure and development and I remember uh, some of the project is, projects rather are installed because of corruption cases like uh, Kimorel and uh, Aral Dams and I also hear another project that will, had stopped will now begin very soon. But the question is, does it mean everyone who is on board in this government is corrupt? And then how did we find ourselves here? Because, of course, the promises were sweet. And when they promise, actually any, any person who gives you a good deal, you go for it. You don't, you don't care how, much, how they will deliver it. But then does it mean this government, everyone who went on board, is corrupt? Hilary, the way to put it is this government orchestrated and supervised the looting of public resources. How? Well, through, number one, mm -hmm. borrowing so they could steal. Mm -hmm. The projects they were supposed to implement, you count them. Take, for instance, the famous SGR. The cost was inflated. And then, besides the feasibility studies that had been done, they came and extended the railway into Suswa. That is straight into nowhere. So it's not delivering results. So you look at this whole system and you look for a particular person to blame and it has to be everyone in that chain. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, this system, we think that it is failing, but then it, it's not failing, it was designed not to work so that in the inefficiencies, people would enrich themselves. And that's the tragedy of this nation. All right, Chariot, who would you blame for this uh, fallout of the idea? Everything is going down. Who would you uh, say is to be blamed? Um, <coughs> a good question. Um, we know of uh, since the second term of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta um, as a jubilee leader uh, there are some like the economy uh, went down I mean during the time of Kibaki it, the economy was improving and now it's staggering and even like detrimentally walking down um, when you when you see like okay uh, of course the person to be blamed is the leader of the day that's Uhuru Kenyatta. Um, we know that uh, every government entity, or, or let's say every project, as you had said, is ensured by it's ensured by by, by, by messy and ambiguous uh, fraud. That's corruption, and and even like a false standard. And and, and, and what's happening in the country? It's ar 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 around all the all the ministries or all the boards in, 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 in the government have been touched by this monster of corruption. And now, if the leader is silent on the on the same, because you cannot t uh, okay at the end of the day, if there is a corruption here, we must know, or, or if there is a fire which has been lit here, we must know like uh, we should get whoever who lit it. <laughs> you cannot tell me that uh, when uh, Kimware down uh, corruption thing came, the government must know, like they know who 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 did that. 
-hmm. Like the former NYS case, like we we all knew that uh, there are some individuals who were caught. It's so sad that they were taken to court and nothing happened to them. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like um, prosecuting a corruption case, it needs a political will. And now, if if, if Uhuru is silent on these things, like corruption, then of course the the, the money will, will be will be flying in the in the in the, in the people's pockets, mm -hmm. and now the economy will be going down mm -hmm. because even those people in offices they will be working very hard. And, and trying to be to be very intelligent in how to 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 to, to, to steal or to corrupt money more than how to improve the economy. Mm -hmm. You may find uh, someone in a, in, a, in the president's office is very busy on looking on some 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 like uh, tenders and how to score how to scoop a thing out of it. How to get a money? How to get in any in any uh, like a project which has been given? Mm -hmm. You may find some big big staffs in the government trying to 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 get something out of it through corruption, and they will not be focusing much on providing services to the people or providing uh, like uh, like improving economy of the country. They'll be like working to for themselves. Okay. And that's that's been happening in in, in in most of the big big offices here. And now the the person to be blamed is Uhuru Kenyatta because if you are the father of a family and things get like worse in your family, mm -hmm. you cannot tell me your wife will be the one to be blamed, mm. but it's you. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's narrow down to specifics now. Let's talk about the uh, food security. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I think around three, we had a report submitted at the State House by the Council of Governors Chair and uh, some other officials that were selected mm -hmm. to deal with the report on the Mumia Sugar and other companies around that region. That was about sugar. We, ha we had another one, a report for, for the maize that they need to be implemented. We've been having a problem as a nation, and the big four agenda, one of them was the food security. Now, where we seated right now, would we say we are safe in terms of food security? Will we see ourselves go for imported maize or donor funded because we are dying of hunger, Career. Previously, we've had hunger strike this nation, mm -hmm. and we didn't have locusts then. Mm -hmm. Our problem has always been in planning where we wait and then we're hit by a disaster and then we react. This year mm. we've had sufficient rains, but unfortunately we did not plan well mm -hmm. enough. So I anticipate a scenario where when the rubber hits the road, we're going to have a worse crisis than we've had before. Mm -hmm. That is expected. We've had all these reports done scientifically by people who are competent, they've been to the ground, but then implementation of the recommendations, that has always been the problem. Mm -hmm. I do not expect for this year to be different. Actually, my advice to people is mm -hmm. we should be prepared for a worse crisis, so we should be making contingencies plans, mm -hmm. because as the government has showed us, they will fall short the glory of God in delivering services to us. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to save, prepare for that rainy day because it's coming. And not just that, you see, if we would have fixed the sugar belt problem, we mm -hmm. would have created a number of jobs in those regions. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't have people move from the western province and Nyanza to come look for jobs that do not actually exist mm -hmm. in Nairobi and other urban centers, mm -hmm. something that's causing the crime level to go up. True. So the future, as much as I would like to be optimistic and perhaps to find something positive to say about this government, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. We as citizens at this moment need to take charge. We need to stop our leaders from dividing us further. We need to make them see that as patriotic citizens, mm -hmm. we are paying our taxes. 
and we are supporting them. Mm -hmm. Let them focus on delivering in the jobs that we have given them. Because number one, they have security of tenure. We, they get paid and handsomely so. Mm -hmm. So a time has come for us as citizens to now read the riot act to these leaders or dealers, whatever they are, because for so long they have served their selfish interests. They have hijacked government machinery for elite courses and it's going to sink us deeper into the morass that we've been grappling with. Okay, Chariot, I'll, I'll, I'll push you to industrialization and housing. Uh, we had uh, many people cried out, why would I, would I build some house when I even don't have a job? And most of these people who would be affected are the youth. Now, do you think the youth have been captured in the Big Four agenda so far? Um, <coughs> I'm a youth, and in, in, in the big four, uh, I, I think, like, uh, I, would, I would wish to think that um, the housing program by the government it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, if they could build houses, I mean, and it's uh, for cheap prices, they give it to people who do, like, with, with a lower wage or income, uh, it was a good thing. Uh, before even touching on youth, the housing program, as we have tested it in, 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 in some areas, like Ibra, those people who are, who are, who are like uh, the people who, who lived there before, those who were evacuated before, and, and, and the houses were, were built in their places, mm -hmm. they were not even given the chance. The people who were given the chance to, 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 to stay in those houses were, were like their relatives and those who control it or the people who can corrupt the system to get a house. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, like um, building these houses, it's as Kenyans, it's ensured by ambiguous things like uh, corruption again and nepotism. Because I have a good friend who was given a house, yes, mm -hmm. but they were given, uh, like, they, 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 they had that, uh, like, it was a contract, yes. He had a house, but it was given to so someone else again. So there were two in this house. but. Getting to inside it, 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 it like you, 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 you had to corrupt the system to get in. But mm -hmm. the person who was uh, conflicting with had a lot of money and you ended up using the house. Now, as youths, um, it, it was a good deal uh, for the government to build these houses. But now, as a youth, you don't know, like, you, you're not, you're not, you don't know the people who can control, like, as youth in terms of social, we, social, sociality, we're down. <laughs> we don't know the big people in the government. And you will end up, like, we'll not get to these houses. That's what I know. And uh, for the big four, um, it was only touching on generality. It, it like, there's no specific, uh, mm. there's no specific, uh, like, uh, draft. Dealing, dealing with the youth. Because mm -hmm. youth, we can only talk of uh, unemployment. Right. We will talk of, uh, like, uh, the, the, we, we, we should, the government should give us, uh, 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 like, internships, mm -hmm. maybe paid in that internships, which, and which we have been raising it uh, for a long time, but we, we have not yet given. Mm -hmm. So if, if the big four was touching on that, it would be good. But for now, it was d d just general for the common energy. Allow me to touch on what you said because I'm a, I come from a maize uh, farmer's place, so mm -hmm. I'm a maize farmer. But now uh, we we have this crisis. We have our grievances that the government look here. You guys, you importing maize during the harvest season in our areas. You 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 are looking like you don't want to. To, to buy our maize. Mm -hmm. You're giving us uh, your bags. These guys, the they, 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 they cartels now chip in and buy maize with uh, like, uh, like a very, very low prices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely low. And even uh, for these people, they are poor. They don't have anything else to, 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 to sell or anything else to, 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 to use and, uh, as their normal days, uh, like even to pay fees. Mm -hmm. That they had to, to sell it at that low prices. But you find that these people, work cartels who are buying maize mm -hmm. at the time, they are the people in government. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. They buy maize, they put it in the stores, wait for the government to, 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 to bring the prices back, they sell to them. So it's like a system which has been calculated to, 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 for the cartels. Mm -hmm. If the government is uh, like, okay, they used to say government eyes are everywhere, but for <laughs> this maize thing, they are not everywhere. <laughs> if the government were, were happening there, selective eyes, amnesia, yeah, <laughs> they could have seen this thing, mm -hmm. try helping them. Even if you cannot provide for security, provide for food security because without food, then mm -hmm. we don't have life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so uh, let's uh, okay. Let me just finish by saying that going forward, mm -hmm. uh, we are still crying for the government to buy our maize during this harvest season at even a, a like a, a moderate, a medium, medium. It's not even a, like a high prices, but a medium prices to help mm. these people because they are poor. Mm, true. Yeah. All right. Apparently, we are out of time, uh, but we'd have, I would have loved us to continue with this because we still have so much to talk about the uh, the big for agenda and uh, its requirement and what has failed and what has uh, succeeded. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for coming. Let me get your final recommendations as far as the state of the nation is concerned with big for agenda as a topic. Career. Well, I would urge the youth, number one, to seek out the right information. That will help in governance because when the politicians come to them to sell them air, they'll be able to call it out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know something, mm -hmm. do not be selfish to keep that knowledge to yourself. Share it with your friends, with your family members. Let us have this conversation that will help us to lift our nation from the mediocrity we're dealing with today. Yeah. Let us kill ignorance. That's the only way we are going to defeat our problems. <laughs> Kenya's number one problem is poverty. It's not tribalism <laughs> or this other disunity that people talk about. Let us unite against poverty. Mm -hmm. Everything else will just fall in place. All right. Poverty. How about you, Jerry? Yeah, to finish on, um, I want also to add the, the government of the day that, look, uh, you don't have to concentrate on these other things, like uh, prioritize on the big four agenda. As you promised us, we have the manifesto for Jubilee. We still have it in, the, in our offices. We, you have not, impl implementation is so low. The big four agendas, even uh, like as now the government is united because of the handshake, yes, please uh, let the, the two leaders, the opposition, the former opposition leader and our, our president concentrate on the things which will help the manage, but not uh, like something which can benefit them all. Uh, for the youth, I think like uh, we don't have to concentrate too much on the the, the, the other things like the uh, uh, the BBI. We're not part of this. If we can come out and draw something to suggest for the big four, because we have done so, and we're waiting for the government to see, we're waiting for the BBI team to to, to 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 draft the last thing so that we can see if they include what we we drawn. Mm -hmm. We must stand on our side as youth and not uh, supporting the leaders who, who, who are just like, uh, because they pay us more money, 50 bucks, or, or, or they can just, because they come from our areas. Let us focus on a good Kenya. Our, the future of Kenya is on us, the youth. Mm, true. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen, for coming. They have been my panelist, Mothira um, Kariara and uh, Cheriot as a political analyst this morning. Thank you so much for being part of Y254 in the morning. My name is Dereva Hilary Val is coming up next in the next segment. See you again in the evening. I'll be talking about women and power. Stay tuned. Goodbye.